uh, of council, and I'd like to welcome our visitors. Um, I posted a thing on the bill right there, um, in case you didn't read it or whatever, but it's about disrupting meetings. And um, so I just asked everyone to please refrain. We've only got one person on the agenda to talk to be a speaker. And uh, other than that, we just ask that you please refrain from saying anything unless you're on the agenda. So we didn't have an agenda ordinance. <clears throat> so having said that, I'm going to ask this time Dennis Tangman to do our prayer, please. God, this afternoon we come to you. Thank you for the many blessings of life you have given each one of us. And God, so many times I do myself take it for granted the blessings you have given me and my family. And I ask that you help us with this meeting. Give us this wisdom that we need. And God, just go with us and help us each day. And God, we love you so much. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Dennis, for, for the prayer. At this time, I'm going to ask Tasha Quill, who is uh, sitting in, to, do, to take the minutes for us um, to do the roll call, please. Uh, Trevor Cribs, Here. Christy Ayers, Dennis Anglin, Here. Rodney Brown, Here. Mitzi Smith, Here. Josh Caldwell. Okay. Um, the first thing on the agenda tonight is, uh, is our speaker requesting to be on the agenda is Eric English. Derek English and Sue English regarding the Old Town Hall Police Department. So this time, whichever one, I guess Eric. Uh, Sue. So, okay. How are y'all doing? Fine. Okay, got a question for you. You know, do you remember two years ago when I came up to the town hall because I've been hearing rumors and I don't like spreading rumors, so I said I want to know what's going on. Do you remember? Any of y'all remember me showing up to the meeting? There's no Oh, y'all can't answer? No, I'm, I'm sitting here trying to think, so you can just say that. Yeah, I think I remember you being here. I'm not sure what, if it's been exactly that many it's years. I, I don't know. Just a couple of years. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I still don't like spreading rumors, but I found out way more than I wanted to about the town council. In my opinion, which is my opinion, and it's like most parts of your body, everybody's got one. My opinion is that this board has overstepped their thinking, their courtesy, and nothing more than being a bunch of liars, cheats, and thieves. And this can be done by one person or by a group. It's called guilt by association. Because if one person does something and y'all all agree to it and y'all all go with it, then you are all guilty of the same thing. Keeping something that you know is not yours. It was never yours for you to have for the rest of your life or for the rest of your ability because it was never yours. When you decide to quit doing something and you think it's okay to sell it, then you have left it. You have abandoned it. You have decided to get rid of it because it no longer suits you. You should return it without having to be told like a bunch of little kids that it is not yours. Give it back to who it belongs or keep your mouth shut. Now I've put up, I've listened, I have a very good husband. He is a wonderful man. If any of you four men and lady up there strive to be a good person, all you have to look for is my husband and his family. Because y'all have not met up to any standard of being a good man, a good person, or a good citizen to this town. So I'm telling y'all, Y'all can all personally kiss my backside because y'all would have to get a ladder. Now, I am tired of hearing about everything that y'all do and don't do and well, it's not me, it's 
this. Well, if you agree with it and go along with it, you are just as guilty. And then, for my last thing, this town council should not be a place for a family reunion. When there is an open seat, it should not be filled by family members, whether they're in-laws, outlaws, or exes. They should not, because that in itself makes a vote worthless. Because if you are going to have a vote and you've got everybody on the board but two people or three people that are not kin to you, but the other three are, then you are in violation of a fair vote. And yeah, count the seconds until like you say, your time's up. But let me tell you, my time is only three minutes. But trust me, y'all's time is even less because you don't deserve to be sitting where you are. Now y'all have a good evening. Okay. <clears throat> now we go to the. Oh, no, uh, they all. Oh, they all. I'm next. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Came here the last time. Try to be respectful, courteous, decent. Mistake on my part. By the time you know, the meeting over, one of the members of the council went to my son and disrespected him, me, my whole family before we could get out of the door. I don't think too much of that. And y'all all stand there and look at you watching, look at the floor or whatever, and that's fine. I was decent when I could come in and try to speak. That's over for now. I have no reason whatsoever to be courteous to anybody. Y'all have a good day. When I went to school, it's, it was never do great, just do better. And some of y'all couldn't do better if you tried, but at least try. Just do better. From the person that lied to daddy in the parking lot to the one that borderline, you know, threatened me after the meeting last month. Just do better. Okay. <laughs> Moving on, we don't have any old business. At this time, we're going to go into a new business, and at this time, I want to uh, approve the hiring of a new town clerk. I make a motion that we hire Amanda Barnett. You got a motion? I hear a second. How's the new time? No, a second, all in favor. Amanda Barnley. Oh, no. Who seconded that? I'm sorry, Josh. All in favor? Roll call. Oh, roll call. Trevor. What grounds, I mean, what, what did we, what stipulations are we hiring this city clerk on? But I totally out of the loop on hours, pay, everything. Trevor's asking if she's going to work a 40 hour a week or not. I'm asking not. Yeah. I would think with what was going on all this week, it's just me outside looking in here. Um, right now, we would need a 40 hour a week right now. Um, and as far as the pay, the pay would kind of mirror what, what we started at the previous crack out at. So, you know, we agree on the pay. Is that a motion? I have. I have voted. I'm asking just some questions. 
because I feel like I need to ask the questions before I vote yay or nay. Because I, like I said, this is the first, you know, I, I picked the resumes up, but I'm not went in on the interviews or anything. I mean, I'd like to have a little background on this person. And am I am I asking too much? I mean, this, this individual is going to be working for the town, so I felt like I just need some information on it. Well, uh, I guess uh, nearly a month I had been married that God would send the right one. During her interview, I read her resume, and she had this joy that I had been, been married about. She also, in her resume, she had it's Jesus, the family, and work. And that's the way it ought to be. I was told that by a supervisor with the timber company. The day you put your job ahead of your family, you might as well quit. <coughs> now that, that's my opinion. I didn't want to say nothing, but that's my opinion. Well, I think you got a right to say something. You sat in on the interviews. And now that, that's my opinion. And I feel like she was the most qualified that we had talked to. I don't know her. Right. And, and I don't need If it's a disaster, come to me. <laughs> my phone you're was, one vote. I mean, yeah, you're yeah. one vote. My so phone Rodney, you were in on the interviews. What's your... I got no comment to you. You got none. Not to you. I mean, just no. for someone that's going to be the city clerk, I have no response from you. Yeah, I, think, her, I, I mean, think she's well qualified, just like Dennis said. I sat in on the interviews, and Nancy did, and uh, that's just my opinion. But you're going to hire somebody that you don't want to talk about. You don't. You're going. You're going to put someone in this position that you don't want to tell the positives to me. I just want you. You just said she's well qualified. At least Dennis doing a little bit of elaboration. With me. It's okay, Rodney. It's okay. If you want to put someone, you don't want to. Give me some positives about it. that. Shows me the support that maybe you're, you're giving to this person. Okay. Meets you feel comfortable. I'm being yeah. comfortable with her. She's really nice and she's soft spoken, and I think she'll do a great job. Okay. I think she'll she can too. Well, I, I appreciate it. She's new in the community. They moved in here and they're building a home. Would you please stop and not speak out because. Oh, yeah, you know, I forgot. I'm sorry. Okay. I think she'd be great. Okay. okay. And so the pay we're setting tonight, are we going to we going to hire her and then set the pay? Or are we going to hire her and attach the pay to the approval of the hiring? That that is exactly again. I I've, I've got the same information as far as um, with the um, the resumes and again I'm having to go off because I wasn't involved with the uh, the interview process. Um, on resume, it does look like she's very well qualified, and I think you would agree with I, that. I agree. Um, I understand you asking the questions because I had the same questions. Mm -hmm. um, now, as far as like the pay, again, I went straight my my thoughts, what I think the pay should be, mm -hmm. and I I'm just one of six voices here would mirror what we started um, the last clerk off that, which was six to six. Right. six. And I thought we all had agreed at that point in time to go back down to 14. That was some other one by that. Right. Ain't no damn mouse when she's turning the other one off at 16. I mean, we didn't approve that. I know it, but she's still in the You know, that was, she, we, we didn't approve that. But right now, it's going to take every hour and everything. I, I don't disagree. I mean, she's going to be able to do this on. Okay. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's going to take 40 Yes. Hours. If she's not over 16, it's got to aggravate me every day. I'm in a roll call. Uh, Christy is not here. Rodney? Yes. Mitzi? Yes. Yes. You, you did the second. Yeah. <laughs> I still call them. Okay, yeah, sorry. Even if they make a motion in second, they can still vote no. Okay. Dennis? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and Josh? Yes. Oh, okay. 
Ahí, 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 uh, if we need a motion for that, I will I'll make the motion to 40 hours at uh, $16 a month. Just like we just discussed. We got a motion. There's a second. 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 Roll call. Trevor. We're voting on the 40 and 16. Is that what we're voting on? Yes. Yes. No. Dennis? Yes. Rodney? Yes. Mitzi? Yes. And Josh? Yes. All right, we'll take care of that. Uh, the next thing on the agenda is approval of the minutes of the crafty June minutes and the July minutes. This makes it very easy. Thank you, Nancy, for um, going the extra mile here and putting both of them in. Very nice. I hear a motion that we accept the correct minutes of June and the July minutes. Before we create, I got a, I've got a question because I haven't haven't gotten the answer yet. All right, the original meeting that happened. When Nipsey has got up here minutes to be corrected. When we read to the council in public notice, that little paragraph was taken out of the corrected. My, I'm sorry, I'm going to go back to the answer. I've not read emails today. Which one we're looking at? Okay. I'm going to say, I'm sorry, I'm not ready. Yeah, thank you. 
Can I hear a motion to accept the minutes? Jim. Jim. In July. Make a motion. We say June and July 2024. Are you second? Thank you. We're accepting both of those together, correct? Trevor? Yes. Christy is not here. Dennis? Yes. Rodney? Yes. Mitzi? Yes. Josh? Yes. Okay. The next thing on the agenda is approving the financials. Um, we really don't have any financials. I'm going to let Mitzi handle that part. I don't really think we need to approve financials until we get everything good and getting balanced. I don't disagree yeah. there. All right, thank you. Here, here for us yes. to just look at it. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Uh, and then if you got any questions or anything, we can ask Nancy, but Think we'd have to uh, before we move on, we'd, we'd have to say yes or no on that. We'd have to make a motion. Yeah, okay. Make a motion with table. Okay. I got a motion and a second. 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 Roll call. Trevor. Yes. Dennis. Yes. Rodney. Yes. Mitzi. Yes. Josh. Yes. Okay. All right. The next item on the agenda is uh, Mayor Paul. I'm going to uh, hand that part. I'm going to tell you right here. Actually, actually, I'm handing out. Uh, Handing out the mayor's report and another document for you to put out of your Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this one. So I'm going to copy it for you. And what I want to do is I want to read out my mayor's report um, for the record. Just give me this way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read the report. Uh, the next day, July 23rd, after our previous night council meeting, council member Missy Smith and I went to the office to see how to proceed with getting employees paid and looking at what was needed to be done to keep the town running. We quickly realized the needs of usernames and passwords that were not there. There were no keys. I immediately had the locks changed to new keys. After an attempt to boot the desktop computer, I took the computer to have it checked out. I only to find out that the internal hard drive was missing. <clears throat> that this led me to contact Croat Information Technologies to provide their services of helping re, uh, regarding usernames and resetting passwords as well as recovering any data that we could. <clears throat> I also contacted MDA Associates, our accounting firm, to help with setting up new QuickBooks. Without the missing hard drive, we could not get we could not get into the desktop version of QuickBooks that is a standalone program. There was, there was also an external hard drive that was missing as well. With the assistance of MDA Accounting, we now have a new hard drive and a new secure online version of QuickBooks. MDA has, has worked the last several weeks with Mixi. Uh, to help recover information to hopefully continue an audit of our books and to help with a the budget. <clears throat> They're continuing to gather data. The authorities were contacted about this missing hard drive and other properties of the town 
and an incident report was filed. As the week went on, we found that other properties were missing as well. Records of the tangle. The incident, the incident is being investigated. Also, the surveillance cameras were disconnected from the server. A debt of gratitude goes to Mitch Smith for graciously stepping up to help continue to make sure that the employees are paid, bills are paid in a timely manner, and the deposits be made. A claim has also been submitted with Alabama Mutual Insurance Company about missing property. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you, Mitchell. Thank Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> also, also, I've attached to this the missing item. Uh, it's two hard drives from the clerk office desktop computer, internal and external hard drive. 1957 to 2016 minutes of meetings. The very first minute, minutes of, up until 2016. 2023 part of 2023 to 2024 minutes are missing. All ordinance books are missing. All resolution books are missing. Two recent, recently town purchased vacuum cleaners are missing. No keys, no usernames or passwords. Historical books, pictures, and a surface book pro notebook. That's my report. Okay. Okay. Next one, Police Chief Barry Nolan. Um, I'm going to ask them to do this report. Okay. Uh, this last month, we had a total of 42 calls for service, 19 traffic stops. We received our new body cameras and have put them in service this last week. We also completed four hours of um, training on how to operate and all the gadgets that the new cameras have uh, this last week. And Jeremy, of course, everybody knows Jeremy graduated the academy the first of the month and is on the road now working for us. So we're glad to have him yes. with a little extra help yes. you know, on the road. And also, I would like to thank the mayor and the council all for purchasing the new body cameras. They're really nice. They take good video from what we've used them so far. And there's lots of stuff we can do with them. Lots of it's going to be paid for that we don't have the extra. We didn't buy the extra packages and stuff. But, but there's so much that these cameras can do that uh, they're the top of the line. So I uh, thank you all for, for purchasing them. Maybe they don't get used much. Huh. <laughs> Maybe they don't get used for bad Maybe stuff. Not. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Larry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, the next on the agenda is Senior Center Manager Tasha Will to give a report. I don't have any new updates. Um, we're we're running great up there. We are. Um, I had no yearly enrollments to do this month. Um, no new congregants. No new homebounds. No deletions. I had nine guest speakers come in this month. Yeah. So, y'all have any questions? I don't. Anybody got questions? Any update on the band still looking? No, still looking. I mean, we have found a few, but it's just not like what we need. Right. Um, we we desperately have to have a handicap accessible sure. van. I mean, in order to purchase one, so and that's that's the struggle between that and how much we can spend on one. So still looking. It'll happen. It'll yeah, happen. yeah, okay. it will. Thank you. You're welcome. <coughs> Thank you, Patrick. For the job you do, you do a great job. Thank you. you do. <laughs> um, the next thing on the agenda is an offer purchase for, for the vacant town property by Drew Norton. He had asked that I put it on the agenda, and uh, so I've done that. It should be down in your packet. Uh, the uh, offer that's made. Thank you. 
Discussion of the written for. I mean, I know the offer was made. I know it's on the agenda. Um, I know the land was purchased for the use of the town, not so much the, uh, you know, for residential um, thing to be put there. Um, and I mean, up until this offer was made, I'm, I mean, I, that wasn't even on my my mind there. Um, now, if a business wants to come in and like we had to offer um, the family dollar coming in, buying it roadside, um, and going to generate taxable income coming into that, yeah, I, I, in my opinion, um, I could see us going through those processes. Um, but break it even on land, not even to break even, but to, uh, I mean, we would we would be essentially losing what interest we would take on it by selling that. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm, and again, I'm one of six. That, that doesn't make good sense to me as a, uh, as a town. Um, I don't know if y'all want to, you know, looking for any type of vote here or just a discussion, but that is, that's my opinion. I don't think it's for a vote. It's not my opinion that, um, that's the last bit of town, I mean, excuse me, that last bit of property that the town does own. Yeah. Right. You know, right. so that for a few kids, future growth or whatever we decide. So, I don't know. <laughs> but there's an option on the table for the line. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right. okay. <coughs> We're just going to move on here. Um, all right. Um, the next thing on the agenda, Trevor, is going to talk about the mayor's bone. Um, I would like to give you something that I'm out there, buddy. Okay. I got it. Fine, but 
And once again, I don't see the idea, and I know you offered all the city councilmen, okay? I understand that. But we're sitting here paying for you a second cell phone. And I don't want a second cell phone. I don't know if the other council members do. But we're paying $40 for you to have a second cell phone that we all do our own city council business stuff then with city council on our own personal phone i would think i know i call you on if i have a question i call each one of y'all it's the only number i have i don't think a mayor of random alabama 400 some people needs a second cell phone for us to pay 480 dollars a year for i don't think that's good use of taxpayer money to do that does other towns equivalent to our size does their mayor have a second cell phone i know one mayor in a certain town that i've called i know he doesn't so you gotta realize what we're doing we're sitting here spending 500 dollars a year for something that i mean that to me is, is not called for it's not good use of our money. Think about it. It's not good use. And you may say it's just forty dollars a month. But forty dollars a month adds up. And I know at one time, you know, Rodney didn't we once he got that phone, I never called his mayor's phone. I don't even have it, nor will I. You get text messages from it now. I, I don't know who. I mean, I just thought it was all of us, so I just replied. <laughs> but if I need him personally, I'm going to look up Rodney Brown. <coughs> I'm not going to look up the work phone for him because I don't think that's a quote. I just don't think it's good to use some money. And when I have to go out here and tell people, and they're going to know about it after tonight, that our mayor is walking around with two cell phones and one of them's for city purpose. I'm just, I mean, I want to be on the agenda. I appreciate finally getting the voice on here, but it's just not good use of city funds of us to pay this. Those guys back here in the back that strap a, a gun on their hip and a bulletproof vest, they deserve it. But for a mayor of Randall, no. And I don't care who the mayor is. They don't need a cell phone for business in Amber. Now we got we got someone up here 40 hours a week. Any individual can come walking in, knock on the window, and ask to speak to you or set an appointment up. Y'all think about it. I know we're not going to go in here and make a vote, but think deep about it. the next time that we go through this financial next month, that we are spending $500 on our mayor for a cell phone. And I know it won't, and I've never called him. I've never called him that I can think of. And I can admit my mistakes, and I'll make, I'll say right there, when I screwed up and I voted for it, I didn't think he would get a phone when it comes out to it. I just thought he'd say, you know, hey, let's don't spend it on, let's don't spend city money on this let's let the guys have our girls with the police department anyway y'all think about it because i am i don't know if i can approve it i can vote no on minutes or on uh, financials because i don't think it's a good use of 500 dollars a year 40 dollars a month and you may say i'm being petty but yeah anyway let's move on anything else <clears throat> well, there's nothing else on the agenda at this time. I'm going to ask that this meeting be adjourned. I make a motion meeting to adjourn. Got a motion? Second. Roll call. Roll call. Roll call. Trevor? Yes. Dennis? Yes. Rodney? Yes. Mitzi? Yes. Josh? Yes.